Hmm. Kok gak? Hey Herbies, welcome back to Herb Stories. Today we're diving into something a little different. Did you know that one of our favorite houseplants, the Monstera deliciosa, actually produces edible fruit? That's right. Not only is it known for its stunning holy leaves, but the Monstera deliciosa also has a delicious surprise for us. Let's talk about this incredible plant and the fruit it bears, what it tastes like, how to know when it's ripe, and some important safety tips. So first off, the Monstera deliciosa is famous for its leaves, and also known as the Swiss cheese plant, because of its unique leaves with their distinctive splits and natural holes. And these holes give the plant its nickname, the Swiss cheese plant. The Monstera deliciosa also has special roots. These roots grow above the ground. They look like long fingers reaching down from the stem. These roots help the plant climb and find water. They are not just visually striking, but also serve a functional purpose, allowing sunlight to filter through to the lower leaves in dense forest environments. The Monstera deliciosa comes from the rainforests of Central America. It likes warm, humid places. Think of places like Mexico and Panama. The Monstera deliciosa is a climber. In the wild, it uses its strong roots to climb up tall trees. It can grow very big and as tall as a house. It all starts with a flower. The flower looks like a giant peace lily. The flower slowly turns into a fruit. The fruit is long and green. It looks a bit like a corn cob covered in green scales, but don't eat it yet. It takes about a year for the fruit to ripen. This fruit, often overlooked, is a hidden gem. But don't be fooled this special and tropical treat is surprisingly tasty when fully ripe. And get this, the fruit is not only edible but tastes amazing. But here's the thing, you can't just pick it and eat it immediately. It's crucial to let the fruit ripen properly, as unripe Monstera deliciosa contains calcitic salic crystals, which can cause irritation in the mouth and throat. So if you've heard it can be toxic, it's only the unripe parts. The fruit is only ready to eat when the green scales start to naturally fall off, revealing the juicy flesh beneath. As it ripens, the green scale-like outer layer starts to fall off. This process can take days and only the sections where the scales have naturally fallen off are safe to eat. Additionally, a ripe Monstera deliciosa will emit a sweet, fruity aroma that is hard to miss. A ripe fruit will smell sweet and fruity. Check the texture. Gently press the fruit. A ripe Monstera deliciosa should feel slightly soft to the touch, similar to a ripe avocado. This softness indicates that the flesh inside is ready to be enjoyed. Observing the fruit over time can help you understand its ripening process better. A time lapse can show the gradual changes in color, texture, and aroma. So take it slow with this fruit. It ripens very slowly, only the ripe parts are safe to eat. It's better to be safe than sorry. Waiting a bit longer ensures that you avoid the unpleasant experience of eating an unripe fruit. Now, what does it actually taste like? Many people say the Monstera fruit is like a tropical flavor explosion. When ripe, the flesh has a sweet and tangy flavor. It offers a delightful taste experience that is both surprising and delicious. It's called the fruit salad plant because it tastes like a mix of tropical fruits. Think of a mix of pineapple, banana, and mango all in one bite. Others say it tastes like mango and strawberry. The rich, creamy texture of mango paired with the fresh, juicy burst of strawberry is another way to describe this unique flavor profile. 
If you've ever tasted something like soursop or cherimoya, it's also a bit similar. It's creamy and melts in your mouth. That makes it a favorite among those who have had the chance to try it and something you'd probably never expect from a houseplant. You can eat the fruit raw. Simply take a bite and let the flavors transport you to a tropical haven. Just peel off the scales and enjoy the sweet, creamy flesh inside. The process of peeling the fruit is almost as satisfying as eating it, revealing the delicious treasure hidden within. You can enjoy it fresh, blended into smoothies, or even add it to a fruit salad for a truly tropical taste. Remember, a little goes a long way, and it's a real treat. You can also use it to make jams and ice cream. Imagine spreading a homemade Monstera Deliciosa jam on your morning toast, or enjoying a scoop of creamy, tropical ice cream on a hot day. The possibilities are endless with this versatile fruit. Whether you enjoy it raw, in a salad, or as a sweet treat, the Monstera Deliciosa is sure to bring a taste of the tropics to your table. This delicious fruit doesn't just taste good, it's also packed with nutrients. It's a great source of vitamin C, which supports immune health, and potassium, which helps with heart and muscle function. You'll also find fiber for digestion, calcium for strong bones, phosphorus for cellular health, and some B vitamins, especially vitamin B6, which helps with energy and brain function. So there you have it. Monstera Deliciosa, a truly remarkable plant. More than just a pretty face in your plant collection, it's a source of unique, delicious fruit. But remember to eat it safely, only once it's fully ripe. So, why not try growing one yourself? You might be surprised at the magic this plant can bring to your life. If you found this interesting, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you'd ever try the Monstera fruit. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.